Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and this is part two for a random code generator. And here we're gonna learn how to create a MySQL database and insert our data that we have collected in the first video of all the quotes along with the author name and tag name into the MySQL database. And here, if I view this script in a browser, and after some time, it will collect the quotes from the website Goodreads and as you can see we have a nice array and we have a tag here quote and the author and so our job now is to create the database with a table and insert all these records into the MySQL database so first let's go ahead and create the database and the table I'm gonna go ahead and connect to MySQL database and first create the database create database quotes the name of the database is going to be quotes <laughs> so first I'm going to go ahead and open up the command prompt and connect to the MySQL database So first I'm going to go ahead and open up the command prompt and connect to the MySQL database. Then create database quotes. And then we'll create the table which will have a quote, author and tag columns that we're going to be uh, storing in our table. So we're going to say create table name it quotes and then let's create the ID which is going to be the unique identifier for all of our quotes or records make it unsigned not null and set it to auto increment next field is going to be our quote we're going to set it to text not null author, set it to varchar, and finally tag, let's also set it to varchar, not null, and the primary ID is going to be, or the primary key rather, is going to be ID, and that should create our table with three columns. Let's go ahead and press enter. Oh, first we're going to select the database. Let's type use quotes and now I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste the code press enter and uh, now let's type show tables and as you can see we have a table quotes you can also type describe quotes and it will show the table with ID quote author and tag and now our table and the database is ready for um, for us to insert the quote records into it so first thing we're gonna do is create a new file and name it db.php and this file is just gonna be for us to connect to our MySQL database and select the quotes table so here it's just gonna be database connection settings gonna set the host to localhost user to root Pass, set the pass to whatever your MySQL password is. The database, name it. The database na name is quotes, and the table name is quotes as well. Okay, so now we're ready to connect to the database and insert the records into it with a loop. So here in our quote scraper, we can um, add the code just below this file. So here in the code scraper file, we can just go ahead and type the database code of inserting the records below our um, scraping code. So let's go ahead and do that now. So first, let's go ahead and include the file with the require one statement, db.php, and then connect to the MySQL 
database with new MySQL I host user pass and database or die MySQL I error MySQL and this is just for debugging purposes in case our connection fails it's going to display an error uh, and the reason why it failed connecting to the database and let's actually first test if this connection works by going inside a db.php file and just pasting this code here and then open it in a browser so if no errors show up then it has successfully connected to the database and we can begin working with it all right so here below the database connection we're going to create a loop to loop over the data array so this is the array that we're going to be looping through and first we're going to create a for each loop to loop over the named tags and then we're going to create a standard for loop to loop over the indexed array so that we can get access to quote and author and insert those into the appropriate columns in our database table all right so let's write for each data as key tag so here we're looping through all the array keys in the data array and we can access them as tags because the first key is our tag name all right so the second loop is going to be four we're going to set the i to zero, which is the initial counter, and count data key. i plus plus. All right, so now we're ready to access the quote and the author, and we're going to say quote mysql i. We're going to use the real escape string to escape any special characters and get them ready to, for inserting into the MySQL database and then we're going to access the quote with data key I so at this point we are at so at this point we're at data key I counter and now we're ready to access quote or the author for the actual value so here we're going to put up the quote to access the quote and now we'll get the quote value and then I'm just gonna copy this whole thing it's gonna be very similar for the author I'm just gonna replace the quote with the author and replace the quote here with the author as well and that will get the author name alright so now we're ready to write the actual SQL statement so we're gonna first create the SQL variable and here the statement is going to be insert ignore in case there are duplicate records we don't want to be inserting duplicate quotes and I'm gonna say insert into table which is our table name quotes then the columns quote author and tag and the values which are our variable quote variable author and and the tag is the key so we're gonna say key close around bracket and now our SQL statement is ready so let's go ahead and execute it with the MySQL I query provide the SQL variable here or die MySQL I error in case something goes wrong alright so if everything works out we should have our quote author and the tag inserted into the database so let's go ahead and delete die here and let the script run and after a while our script will collect all the data and hopefully insert the records into the database and here I'm just gonna go ahead and open up MySQL workbench to see if the records have been inserted inside the database 
so I'm gonna connect to the database here and select quotes tables quotes and then select the rows so here you can see that the script has indeed collected the data and inserted them inserted all the data inside of our um, database table so here's the quote the author and the tag name you can scroll down and see all the records inserted properly into the database alright so that is how you create a MySQL database and insert the records into the MySQL table and in the final part 3 video we're gonna learn how to create a JSON that will actually generate the quote from the database